Two years ago, I ran a five minute PB at Valencia Marathon, clocking two hours and 24 minutes. There you go, that Thank is you, uh, so I remember a few years ago, he was the athlete that uh, helped the London Marathon finisher that uh, was uh, in distress and uh, today he can celebrate a lifetime best as well as... This a... year, I'm going back. The block will consist of miles, fuel, heat, hills, stride, threshold, bite, strength, nutrition, caffeine, and hopefully some decent sleep too. I'm 37 years old, have a big family, a new puppy, and work full time, but I really wanna make this the block where I fully commit and go all in. Welcome back to another Beachley Session Day vlog as I train for Valencia Marathon. So it is Tuesday and I am about nine weeks out, just under nine weeks from the race. Uh, I'm massively inspired from watching Berlin Marathon on the weekend. Uh, some incredible performances and yeah, I'm looking forward to getting stuck into this long run. The session today is seven times two kilometers with a kilometer float in between each. So it comes to the same volume pretty much as the last session vlog I did, um, but with longer ons, two kilometer on with one kilometer off. The aim is again to try and do those two kilometers faster than marathon effort. Not sure what that pace will be, but we'll, yeah, just try and feel it out like I did last time and then float as honest as, as, honest as I can while still recovering, ready for the ons. The whole thing should be 25K, including the short warm up and very short cool down. So about 15 miles. And yeah, looking forward to getting stuck into it. It's a bit rainy, a bit wet, but it looks cool. And uh, that suits me. Kel will be on the bike again filming. We had lots of comments last week saying that she made the vlog and I'm dull and dry and boring. And Kel's got all the humor and sarcastic comments. I am very sarcastic. And you know what they say, it's the lowest form of wit, but that's all I got. <laughs> <laughs> New gels, OTE, innovation product, it does actually say what it is, a super gel plus. So 40 grams of carbs plus 75 milligrams of caffeine. So yeah, I could be topping up my caffeine as, as we go, which is nice. And then soft, <laughs> and then soft plus as well with super carb, uh, the powder with the water. Caffeine. I feel like we need more caffeine than normal. We are not getting sleep between Harry and Alba at the moment. Whew. I'm also trying, I've already tried it before, the naked band, because you can get things like, you can access them from the top quite easily. It hasn't always been that comfortable, but I think that's because it didn't fit, but now it does fit. I think it's shrunk in the wash. So Don't blame my washing, blame, <laughs> your, blame your waistline. <laughs> Although one of these leaks, I've lost a few grams of carbs, but I had some spare, so it's fine. Saw a little flash of pant then too. Oh yay! Run for the only French. It's underwear. They still haven't brought a thong out though, have they? For the guys. You don't need a thong in those flappy shorts, trust me. <laughs> I don't need to see any more ass cheek than what does appear. Right. I'm carved. What's this? Is it a bum bag? Is it a handbag? <laughs> it's my accessory bag. You're accessorising today. <laughs> I, I am, yeah. It's actually for dog poo bags and treats, but, you know, also works for GoPros and phones. Look at this. This is the new Valencia Coros watch. The new Valencia colourway, very nice. Only 11% battery Yeah, I, did. I haven't charged it. I just took it out of the box and started wearing it and I haven't charged it. So I've got 11% battery and this is going to be like, over an hour and a half. Ho hopefully it's okay. I trust Koros, we'll be fine. I can't help thinking when I see you in those white socks and white shoes that you do actually look like a pony. <laughs> Cause you've got like these brown hairy legs and then white socks, just not black hooves. What are you saying? That the twig woke up today and chose violence? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> violence on my session day. <laughs> I've done this session of yours before, but you haven't. I don't know if I have, maybe years ago. I always start a marathon block too late and never get round to this session because I haven't got enough time. But 
I've started early enough and yeah, that's what I think I need right now before I go to the, the longer reps. What are we now? Eight weeks out? Nine weeks? Just, just under nine weeks. Cardiff half on Sunday? Yeah. My legs will be knackered, but a solid run would be nice. Yeah, that'd be lovely. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not getting too carried away. I don't think I'll PB, but I got a shot. Oh, it's definitely feeling chillier today. Feel that wind. I love it. Well, not the wind, but I like, like the cooler temperature. You know Valencia's not going to be this cool though, right? Yeah. But I'm going to be living in the sauna for five weeks. <laughs> you still need to talk about that. Yeah. It needs a dedicated video. And you haven't been in the sauna? No. The, the grim reality of the garage. <laughs> many coats. The man of many coats. Raking coats because I can't get out. I'm overheating, let me out! Oh yeah, you broke the zip, didn't you? Had a little panic attack in his sweat box. I have got a video of that. Maybe I'll drop it in now where I can't get out of my own coat. <laughs> I'm trying to stay calm at the moment because I can't actually get my jacket off. My zip is completely stuck. And I'm only doing it one-handed now, but even with both hands, I can't get this jacket off. And I'm absolutely roasting. But it will not come down. <sighs> this is not what you expect. <sighs> I'm out, but I've broken my coat. I've broken my heat acclimation coat. But I'm alive. This is a grown ass man, everybody. Grown man. Cannot get out of his own coat. Why did you take heart rate off? Well, not on purpose. I was just setting up the main screen um, and then forgot to put heart rate back on a different screen. So on my main screen, I've got lap pace, lap time, and then just the time of the whole run. The time of the whole run will help me know when to take a gel and then obviously lap pace will tell me how fast I'm going and lap time how far into a rep I am because I'll know roughly how long a rep's going to take based on the pace but yeah I'm interested in the heart rate because I feel really good and that was uphill we're averaging like 555 so it's really there is some pop in the legs today but your heart rate could actually still be higher you just yeah this is but where um, I... your feel experience comes into it. Yeah, I feel good there. Yeah. I reckon it's low 150s at the moment. I'll have a look afterwards, but it'll have been creeping up, but I reckon it's about 152. So I said I was going to top up my caffeine, but I've actually forgotten to take my initial caffeine. So. This is the first bit of caffeine, 75 milligrams in this, 40 grams of carbs. Get this in during the warm up, ready to get started with the 2K, first 2k rep. Taste test review. What did you say it tasted like? Tastes nice, but it does make me think back to nights out. It's got like, I don't know. Red Bull? <laughs> no, like, bombs. Yeah, you can definitely taste the caffeine. Or also, yeah, like shots. Where you're like, mmm. All right, we're about to start. You could join Team uh, Team Diplo at this, right? <laughs> Diplo and, and shot gels. All right, here we go. Let's go. This is where the bag comes in handy. See? Slot in the rubbish. Slottedly slot. Yeah. What's up? So, 5.17 a mile, 6.33 for the 2k. Effort level? Seems like it was quite a... Maybe getting carried away yeah. at level. Yeah. I feel like you let the bunny out of the box there straight away. I've had massive like, come on, I want my session since Berlin, seeing Nick do well, Philly do well, 
like so many of my athletes do well it just makes you want to run and run fast so yeah the first two k on average the same as the average of my ons and the 10, 10 times k on k off so yeah probably too quick i was expecting them to be a bit slower and we're about to go for the next one Currently 5.18 a mile, six minutes in, so coming to the end of the rep. And dare I say it, I feel quite good. No, don't dare. <laughs> don't say it. 5.18? It was like 5.17, 5.18, so probably about 5.18, which is like 6.35 or something, is it? The big test is, what am I floating at? It's all well and good hitting hard reps if you just jog. Yeah, I feel like the last one was a bit joggy. 540 that was. <laughs> oh, nice. Jogging at 540. at the moment. <laughs> it's funny, though, isn't it? Yeah, hilarious. What is? That. I've been struggling to break 8 minute miles on my easy runs for the last four days. It's like 757, 759, and like. There's just been nothing in the legs at all. And I was like, well, I've had four easy days now. I've got to eventually do this run. And there it is, there's something in the legs. I've probably used it all up now, but. So are we saying that the next time you're gonna need like six days easy <laughs> running at eight well, minutes? No, because then it just becomes a full on taper. <laughs> is your physiology changing? I think it's the lack of recovery this cycle. Like, I joke about the puppy and Harry, but oh, yeah. obviously both being incredibly difficult at night time and we're not getting... I was asleep last night. Yeah. A, an hour in between, in the, in the middle with Alba, like, that's not what you want. No, it's not the recovery you need when you're running high volume intensity. And you could probably get away with it one or two nights, but it's every night. Yeah, we've had a month solid of it. But 5am wake-ups from Alba. She does not sleep past 5 a.m. And Harry does not like to go to sleep at the moment. Uh, starting at school, I think it's unsettled him a little bit. So sleep's been all over the place. Just parent life, you know, it's nothing disastrous, but. Yes, yeah, our choices, we love it, but we're really? still trying to get the work done. Feels like you're putting the ammo down, down this hill. Well done. Downhill. I love a downhill. 516, 632 or something. Very happy with that. Because that had the uphill in it. The whole uphill. Incline. <laughs> Gradient. Yeah, so I was working, but in the in this session, don't crash. In this session, yeah. I'm allowed to work, it's not marathon pace. It's meant to be harder than that get a really good threshold benefit so yeah very happy with that split but less than halfway through so here's a question for you obviously you haven't got your heart rate at the moment yeah you sound like you're working quite hard yeah would you be checking your heart rate now if you did have it and would you be listening to that heart rate what you saw on the I watch i know where it is it's in the mid to high 170s it's really like high but just below lt2 for me it's like proper threshold work yeah so if you if you saw 170 whatever you think it is now on the watch you wouldn't like back off no i know i know i'm working that hard yeah i know i'm burning through carbs which is why i need to take on another gel now flying through carbs couldn't do this in a marathon couldn't be running anywhere near this pace or this effort but for this session i'm clearing some of that lactate now uh, on the off, and then I'll go again. We go again. I'll go with shot. The night. I'll go with the night out. Shot. He's at the bar. He's getting shots. Come on, let's go. He never gets around. <laughs> ah, squirrel. That last rep was dedicated to a squirrel, wasn't it? For the squirrels! 
man's working a bit harder now. We have not got the ship. It's just went a bit wonky because it's suddenly gone from 5.15 to 5.24 in 10 seconds. It was a squirrel. Yeah, it stole my GPS. His little tail is like a little antennae sucking your GPS. So it's that for 5.21 pace. Um, you have, it clocked for me 5.16 for the first mile of that. Yeah, that's what I was on. And then I took that corner back there and I went from 5.16 average over four minutes to 5.25. So you call it like a lorry. <laughs> Juggernaut. Juggernaut Reese. No, like, I know for a fact that I didn't drop to, well, I'd have to walk to get the pace that quickly down. Yeah. <laughs> but annoying because it was nice seeing that I'd hit the splits again. Yeah. But you do these runs to a training effect, splits don't matter at all. It's just ego that is. But uh, yeah, came in at 521. It was probably closer to 517. But either way, I'm into the medals. So rep three was for the squirrels. Rep four was ruined by the squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> Poetic justice. These reps is somebody that you want to run better than in Valencia. So friendly competition. So rep one is, let's mention no names, <laughs> right? If you hold it, you've ticked him off. Rep two or is, or her. Rep two is another person. Rep three is a PB. You don't even need to pick anybody. Like, I'll let it be anonymous. You can just, you know, somebody that you're racing next to. I know a bit of friendly rivalry and comp healthy competition can be a stimulus in certain occasions. Not all the time, but it's sometimes nice to just use a little bit of different bit of fuel. Because right now they're kicking your ass. <laughs> he is definitely feeling the pinch. It's because he dared. He dared on his first reps. Starting uphill. Incline. That's nice. You dropped me. Who were you thinking of that time? <laughs> Running away from Alba, aren't you? From the sleepless nights. Oh, then looking good, looking smooth. Flat. 5.17 again. Well then. Yeah, that was hard. Keep taking them off. Stack them up. You don't need the silver. If I can just nail silver, last one takes care of itself, right? That's what you like to say. <laughs> As I'm struggling to float. Yeah. What are your floats looking like? Slower than the earlier for sure. Yeah. Low sixes. Yeah. That's all right. Just keep trying to stack up, stack up those arms. The float is always float as honest as you can. I was hitting where you want to be for those arms. So right now, low sixes is as honest as I can. <laughs> it's what you can scrape out of the barrel right now. Now you're doing good. Any more fuel for the last two reps? I'll try and take some on at the end of this recovery. How have the uh, caffeine sat? Nice. Super gels? Well, I have had, since 14 each, I've had 80 grams when we're an hour in, so a lot. that's quite high for me. Yeah. Yeah. I'll take a sip of the top flask, pop it up a little bit. <coughs> you do that, babe. You do that. Into the wind tunnel. Not going to believe this. I just saw a squirrel running with that t shirt you lost. <laughs> making a den, making a hammock. No, he's wearing it. <coughs> Ripping the saw. Right, you're not totally dead, we've got a smile out of you, so Into crack the, on. 
into the wind with an uphill to finish on this rep. Oh, lovely. Nice and cooling now. Hold on, babe. Keep it up. Currently 518, coming up to the hill, into the headwind. This is definitely picked up, isn't it? Savage. Oh, that was a big slowdown. <laughs> yeah, that? You got it. 520. Yeah, well Massive done. Stitch. That's what happens when you take on a lot of fuel and you're working too hard to get a stitch. That's all right. One more to wrap up now. Just I always say, oh, a stitch in training is a good thing because you know you how to do a bit of race day. I can't plan for it. You gotta see how you deal with it. You don't like your coping well. I'm just gonna try and relax for this K and then get back on it. Well done. Feel any better? Yeah, stitch is gone. Just focused on relaxing, breathing, because that keeps you alive. <laughs> um, I gotta say, after my three, it feels so good when you've got life in your legs, but when you get tired, they feel a bit slappy. Whereas the Alpha Fly one felt really springy and poppy, even on tired legs. I feel like the three just feel a bit, a bit slappier. But you can't get the ones anymore. What was that? 521. Hi there. 1K float, 1K cool down. Job done. Best session ever that. Honestly, so happy with that. Good. Boom, boom. Got still nine percent left. You used two percent of battery for. Well, no, I just started. It went to ten percent. Still nine percent left. Top done. That's all right. What have we been running? An hour and 24. Yeah. You've got another nine hours in you then. So you keep going until it runs out? Yeah. New challenge, the marathon. How long until my watch runs out of battery? It's good though, solid work. Like, you got to make the most of those, those kind of runs. Well, the way the legs have been feeling, You'll know you've been getting the brunt of it uh -huh. every day. I come back from my run like they're not ready. I can't break eight minute mile in. The legs just don't want to go. And I was hoping the cue to do this session would be to do an easy run and it to feel nice. But it never happened. <laughs> Actually, I remember listening to Phil Sessman and he used to say, or well, he still does say, that it's the easy days where he feels the worst and like he'll do all this easy running and feel awful and then he'll finally get some pop in his legs for the session and then a bunch of easy days where he'll feel awful again and I think that's what's happened today like I didn't think I had any pop but obviously some food last night and five hours of sleep was enough went with rice last night not pizza not your banned food list yeah you didn't cherry pick off that good Ooh, that was tough but really really satisfying um, uh, the splits did fade a little bit but they were so much faster than I was expecting to start with and they didn't fade that much um, so yeah really happy with that like I'll put the splits up now but the, the initial ones were like 517 518 a mile and then the latter ones were like low 520s Floats faded a bit, but overall, a really good session. I expect, I can't do maths in my head right now, but the, I would have done a half marathon in there at like, I don't know, maybe like 71, 72 half. So that's really good. Um, like I said on the cool down, I find the Alpha Flies just a little bit slappy when you get fatigued. They don't feel as good. 
so I'm not 100% sure they're going to be my race day shoe. Um, can't get hold of any of the version 1, which I would go back to. I still think they're the most efficient shoe for me out there. Um, haven't tried the Metaspeed Paris. Been desperate to try them, but they always sell out straight away. I don't know if there's another colorway dropping, because if there is, I'll, I'll jump on board and get some. So if anyone from Asics or anyone in the know knows if there's another colorway dropping, it needs to be soon, really, because I need to train in them as well. Uh, but the other option is the Adios Pro. I've never tried those either, but I've seen a lot of people love those and run well in those. Um, I wouldn't use the Vaporfly. Didn't, didn't get on with the Vaporfly 3. So yeah, it's, I, I could run a marathon in these. I just, I would worry how it would feel in the latter miles. Um, so yeah, any, anyone else got any shoe recommendations for someone like me who loves the Alphafly one, but hasn't found a, a brilliant replacement yet, then let me know in the comments. Um, will I do an outro after this and go through the splits? Maybe, but right now my arm is killing because I've got no muscles and even a GoPro is too heavy for me. And the one thing I said I was going to do in this block is take care of the small things. And one of the small things is getting protein and carbs, really important to get carbs in as well, straight after a run like this. And I've forgotten to pack any. Um, such a rookie mistake. So I'm going to have to drive to the shop and get something because getting home will be too late. I need to get something in now. These are the ones where you really want to start the recovery, really get the protein and carbs in straight away and not hang about because these sorts of sessions take a lot out of you. Um, as you could see in that video, I was working really hard on those 2K reps. It was, it's, you know, it's 14K of threshold with 7K of pretty honest floats. So yeah, it's a, it's a big stress and now I need a big recovery.